it's going very well, you know, it's just the fifth or sixth show we're going to do tonight in Athens here. And so far people seem to very much like it, you know, and that's a good response. So getting a good response gives us a very good feeling to do the next show, of course. So it gets better and better. It over betters itself, <laughs> so to say. Is that word existing actually? No. <laughs> It's yeah, well, in tradition of a little bit of le of that Halloween, a little bit of hectical twin guitar things. We have a lot of harmonies and choirs in there, so in that sense, it's just like I would call it like a very very classical Halloween album, you know, with loads of very early orientated Halloween elements in there, you know. I would say, well, with the sound of the, with the sound from today or something like that, you know. We have all those songs because we're more than just one or two songwriters. Of course, you have, in the end of the day, you have a lot of material. Actually, much more than you need for an album. It's it's just a matter of deciding what color you want to have for the album, you know, what, 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 what type of album you want to have. And then this, you need to find some songs kind of uh, going together very good and then you find a picture for the rest of it you know it's just a matter of what album you want to do this is kind of hard sometimes you know but it's the band decision and then the management tells you giving you ideas charlie bauerfeind is a big part of halloween's production and so in the end of the day we find we record all those songs finding a direction and getting in this direction more getting in that direction more but we find a way to make the whole picture happening you know it's not easy sometimes but once you get it it's easy easy to follow the line but yeah you gotta find the line first you know we start with the drums in the studio and that is inspiring of course me as a bass player a lot for what I want to do for what I'm able to do on on that track or this track on or on all the tracks which gives me ideas of how can I follow the line the chords but still trying to do some interesting things here and there you know it's very very big part of that drum bit he's doing and also like Sasha song he has got he has got a, an old old uh, an old own kind of writing you know it's just like very fresh kind of thing it's he has ideas I wouldn't get so it's nice to have somebody uh, doing something different than than yourself or than Andy or than Vicky you know so it gives the band a big variety of of, of styles of within still being Halloween you know and I like that a lot We play with cliches, you know, it's not that I like to live in hell, but there's definitely heaven and hell if you do the bad and the evil is, all that is, if you ask me, is in us. No matter if you believe in God or in evil or if you believe in God in, at all or not, but there's things being bad, things being good happen to you, you know. Call that heaven and hell or whatsoever. And we have like, uh, in a heavy metal band, as in Halloween, for example, we, we play with that cliches and it gives good, it gives a good, you know, basic for like lyrics and all that heavy metal kind of cliche for all that heavy metal uh, 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 scene and, and themes and all that. It goes along together very, very good with that heavy metal kind of thing, you know. And I just like it to play around with it and to, without taking it too serious, take it with a blink of an eye and there you go, you have it. It's just like, I, li I just like it, you know. And within that you put some wiseness you have for yourself into all that, and then you have Halloween stuff, you know, without being taken too serious, but then you have some serious elements in that 
stuff. <laughs> I don't know what happened in some 10, 15 years, you know, but there's got to be metal. That's for sure because it's never been gone, really. Be I, I can say this because also this when when there was like all this Nirvana type of thing going on. I thought they have some, they had some killer tracks those days, but I never understood why you have to uh, to to dislike this kind of music just because you like this kind of music. You know, it, it, I think you can like both, but in those 19s, we were still touring, we were still doing metal, we were still having fans coming to the con to the shows. And I think whatever comes, whatever will happen, we were going to be there in ten, some 10 or 15 years. Whatever wave will overflow the music scene, it's going to be there. And that's what I know for sure. It, it, it goes up, it goes down a little. Now it seems to rise a little. Some TV shows are asking us again. That wasn't happened for years, you know. And now that we have some offers for some TV stuff and for some actually unmetal medias are asking us for interviews and stuff like this. So I can tell it's rising a little. It was. It wasn't like this years before. There was no me such media apart from like the, the regular metal media, interesting and in, interesting in something like Halloween or. So I can tell it's going to be there all the time, even if the, so to say, non-metal media is not interested, metal will still be there, so we're not depending on it. So it's going to be there constantly, and we're touring constantly, and there's constantly people coming to the shows. Also, when, uh, uh, like, record sales are going up and down, now it's going up a little, everybody knows the situation about the markets and all that, but touring is still going on for Halloween, you know. We're always on on the road and we can tell it's going to be there. It's going to be happening and we like this. It's something that never changed and I like this, you know. Mm -hmm.